But, what's exactly, the car industry? Well, the industry, has two branches. Motorsport, which is based in performance. And civil use, which is idealized by practicality, safety, comfort, and fuel efficiency. Racing cars, focus mainly, in optimizing performance and efficiency, developing new technology, that will later be used, in production cars. Some of the areas they mainly focus are engine design and aerodynamics. Production cars manufacturers have to follow constant fluctuating social demand and security standards making them have very dynamic car development. Security as headlamps, aerodynamics, weight and fuel efficiency are some of the common manufacturers main concerns. Calculus is why all this optimizations work. Calculus allow manufacturers to have best configurations possible, to have best efficiency possible. For instance, Dodge is common, HEMI engine, popular in muscle cars, and characterized for power and fuel thirsty, have passed through lot studies and redesigns to the present. In a GMI engine, the top of the combustion chamber is hemispherical, while more common engines have flat head which are less efficiency and has lower cost production. To have an efficient engine, you want the maximum cylinder pressure to occur when the crankshaft is at the right angle. You want to waste as little of the engine's energy as possible. You want to lose as little heat as possible to the heads and the cylinder walls. A big ratio of surface area to volume means more heat escape and a lower peak pressure. However, very small ratios make walls be under the ideal temperature, leaving unburned fuel. You want the perfect design to get the highest power output per fuel unit. Calculus allow you to find this point by graphing the output power function, searching for that desired variable values that gives the best performance. Aerodynamics is a very important factor in which manufacturers work intensively to make more efficient cars. Aerodynamics optimization reduces car drag coefficient, meaning it can cut through fluids easier, therefore less fuel is consumed since you don't have to push the pedal as much to make the same work. Manufacturers need to have this factor present all time, however, in SU versus with their typically boxy shapes and larger frontal area, this idea isn't either main concern. Efficient cars market is a very competitive one, especially in these times. For manufacturers to succeed, they have to really work their calculus. Curves, areas surfaces, made from functions, allow a mathematical optimization through calculus and experiments. Common modern automobile can achieve drag coefficients between 0.3 and 0.35 which multiplied by the front area gives you the drag per area, a net number you can use to compare car's aerodynamics. Car's aerodynamics improvement design can be really complex and odd. For instance, having very gently inclined windshield gives lower drag coefficient but safety disadvantage. A good example on how body design can change through time in pursuit of efficiency is the Porsche 911. Although its change can be not noticed by naked eye, the 911 is way far from his ancestor, the VW Beetle. The original Beetle had a coefficient of 0.48 and a considerable front area. However, its grand-grandson, the Porsche 911, has an average drag coefficient of just 